All right, go. All right, so uh, the, I just mentioned a minute ago in our other video that I had just finished printing. So I'm kind of trying to balance between printing and using the laser to uh, see what my users are going to experience. I know what I can do, but I know everything about the machine, so I should be able to do it faster. So uh, here's the finished print. I did a four-up print. This was very valuable to me. Uh, I have it pinned on pins on my system so that uh, I can just lift off my build plate like that. I'm printing on PEI sheet that's laminated. This is only 150 millimeters square, but that counts for about half the parts that I do, or more than half. Do we have sheets like this available for people? We do. All they have to do is uh, ask. We've got it. Excellent. It's called removable build plate. And I have a similar setup. As you can see, it looks suspiciously similar to this. And I use the same pins, and this way, if I have registration or something like that that I'm interested in, uh, then I can go ahead and get it done. Uh, Course. While you do that, I'm going to go over here and see that we've got some exhaust right hooked here. up. I'll hook the exhaust up momentarily. Okay. That's because we don't know or we're wary of what kind of fumes might come off this mystery material we're going to be lasering. Oh, we're cutting several things right now. So uh, I have this nice exhaust that I throw out the back door. And far, far away from where we're going to be breathing anything. Hopefully, we're killing the neighbors. Cannot stress enough the safety uh, of using the proper. Um, and is that an active uh, exhaust? Is there a fan on that? Uh, yes, there is. Good answer. Uh, one of the things that's evolving as I'm doing this is how important it is to have um, a vacuum cleaner. I find that I use the vacuum cleaner almost all the time. All right, so here is my laser head, uh, something that you cannot run without. And I've already pre-calibrated and aligned it. So that was, this is your stop right here. Well, this is for the, the CO2 laser. I'm using the CO2 laser today. Not the little baby stuff. No, nah, the little five and set, or six and, and uh, three watt guys doesn't need this. But now... I am going to put a piece of tape across the inside of this, and I'm actually going to send this forward a little bit too, uh, just to double check that my alignment's good. You never know who's been playing with this. Don't trust, verify, is that what That's you're saying? That's right. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my print head from here, uh, because I may actually bend that... Uh, see if I can get to that one. Lockdown nobbin. And this one I just stick in the back. You're just going to clamp down on that feed tube? Ah, that's fine. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe it's fine. I haven't figured out whether I like that or not. Something we're experimenting with. Okay, so let's just uh, get a little piece of tape. Okay, and if you come over here, one of the little things I've done is we don't have a lockout on my particular machine. This is my R&D machine. So this is my lockout. Normally you would have a key and a switch hooked into your lid. Right. And so I just come down here, and this will enable the laser from one standpoint, but still not from the other. Uh, you see there's no red light on here, right. which means the solid state really is not on. I come down here where it says aux heads. Here's my laser. Notice I'm going to click that, and now you see the red light's on. You can also see inside that the red cooling LEDs are lit up, warning you that there is power to the system, Excellent. to the laser. So you have three feedback things. Our whole goal here is just to double check to make sure that someone didn't screw with the alignment while we were looking. There's a little red uh, test button underneath on your power supply. We just pop it, and, and as you can see, that's right in the middle of our hole, right where we want it. Well, show us where the test button was. It's up under, uh, on the edge of your power supply. Uh, you can see it right up underneath here. There we go. Yeah, it says test. It's on all common power supplies like this. Okay. You also could uh, just click this other button right here, which 
Should send out a very short test pulse. Do not click it. There'll be this guy right here. That would